cool friends I have a box to share with you today this is from Amazon and um, it's mostly cotton yarn now I don't keep cotton yarn here this is mostly wool so I haven't really known where to put this but I think I found the spot but I thought maybe you might appreciate seeing me unbox this stuff because it's a little hard sometimes to know if the colors that you see on the advertisement is what's going to show up in person so maybe if you've looked at some of these products you might find that interesting I have bought a little bit of cotton yarn recently because I want to make some dishcloths <laughs> I know it's a really popular thing a lot of people are doing it and I've never used a handmade dishcloth I don't think maybe I have I don't know um, but it might be fun to make some for Christmas, you know, if we still do Christmas. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, so um, here we are. Let's unbox this box. Let's see what we got. By the way, I got a packet from Angelica's Yarn Store, LLC. I, um, I was looking for a specific yarn. I was looking for more of an specific yarn than I have. Uh, my usual places didn't get it, didn't have it, so I went on a search. <laughs> Here we go. Yay, that's it. That's the one. Okay, so when your favorite yarn company no longer has the yarn that you want, don't despair. There's probably another one out there somewhere that has the same thing. Now this is... Rowan pure wool worsted made with superwash wool, 100 gram. I think the color was a number on this one. Uh, 114. So it's kind of a light orchid. And um, this is why I bought it. <laughs> because I made a um, Darendel uh, blouse out of this. And when I get around to it, I'm going to finish naming the little skirt, the little chemise skirt. And so um, when I am, when I've made a little more progress on that, then I will either weave or maybe even knit something. So um, I have the yarn now to do that. Yay! So yeah, if you, if you have a yarn that you've um, hoarded for a while and discover that you need more than you think than you have and they no longer make it, um, don't despair, look on things, look for like eBay and Etsy and, you know, I mean, search because it might be out there. And in this case, I found it on Amazon. I was surprised because I don't go to Amazon for yarn. <laughs> I mean, basically when you, when you enter yarn into the search on Amazon, all you get is acrylic and no thanks. Uh, got another box here, another Amazon box. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, okay, these are pretty. <laughs> I've been wanting a French curve. Um, and I do now have them. I've got three. So this is helpful in pattern drafting. Oh, look, they come out. And they'll be beautiful on the wall as well. <laughs> I buy tools so they look good on the wall, right? No, but this is helpful. I've seen people draw the armhole on a pattern using this curve. So um, now having seen on YouTube how that's done, I'm really looking forward to trying that. Because, you know, when you don't know how that works, it's a little bit intimidating. Small one. Pretty color, too. And another small one. So there's three in the set. They are a good size. I can see this working really well for the armhole. Lots of other curvy business happening here. So we've got a good inside curve, outside curves. Yeah, these will be fun. Now they're, um, so I think they will be hung on the wall, probably like so. And so I will need to give us some thought as to where they go because if you've seen my wall lately, you know it's already kind of full. But that's fine, it'll be fine. So I'm very grateful to have those. You know, when everybody started making masks, Elastic got pretty hard to find. And so thankfully, Elastic is, Elastic is now findable again. And we've got this 
little elastic. I was actually hoping for something a little smaller than this, but this is what I found and it's a fairly reasonable price and there's kind of a lot of it. So hopefully I shouldn't have to make this purchase again for a very, very long time. Flat elastic bands for sleeves, masks, DIY crafts, whatever. Okay, so yeah, that would be good on a mask. It's very stretchy. It'd be, uh, it'll be good for sleeves. So that's kind of a basic, good thing to have. All right. You know, when you um, go for a variegated yarn combination, you never can tell. And sometimes if you've got a project that you really want a variegated yarn for, especially one that has good colorways, um, and you don't really have the time to buy a sample skein and see if you like it and then buy more, um, <laughs> you really do, it is a bit of a gamble because, you know, finding something on a computer screen. So this in the pictures is vivid. This in person, is somewhat less than vivid but I think especially this combination on the blue side is quite good the fuchsia is pretty pretty rough so I got the three of these and this is 50 grams yeah 100% wool 50 grams rainbow wool yarn so this will probably be fun to use it's not quite what I wanted but it'll still be fun to use. So that will go downstairs on the yarn wall. These, <laughs> I thought they'd be much bigger. Okay, so these are teensy tiny little rolls of tape. And, sorry, this must be absolutely deafening with that microphone. <laughs> Let's see if I can get them out of there. So you know how when you're doing some draping, you use tape? to uh, give it a feel for where you want the seams and everything. I ordered this little combination set. I actually thought these would be bigger than they are, but that's okay. There is a little black one, a little pink one, a little blue one, a little green one. They're stuck together, but this will be fun. You know, I have never met a color I didn't like. So yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> I really have. Um, so let's see about the color here. Getting them part is a little tricky, but that's okay. No big, whoopsie. And then sometimes they just jump right out of your hands. Okay, so I think, I probably am not gonna use this a tremendous amount, so it's, it's fine that there's not a lot of each one. Let me put them in order here. That's just part of the process, folks. You have to put them. I have to put them in order. Now the red is kind of coming apart a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. And then we've got a black. Okay, so narrow little tape. Now, <laughs> Xavier took a roll of blue tape and carved off a little uh, micro line in this. So <laughs> Um, I knew I wasn't going to do that again because I didn't have much of that left and it was a real production to get a little sliver of the, <laughs> of the tape off the roll. And so now I have these. Um, so basically every time I do a new project, I can pick a new color. And that's kind of cool. What else is in the box? Ooh. <laughs> Studio Sam Classic Granny Squares. This is a combo kit. Now, I don't know who Studio Sam is. I think that's a YouTuber. I have to go check it out, find out who Studio Sam is. And then um, I'll take the paper out so you can see the colors. I think they're really pretty. It's interesting to me that in terms of, we've got a lot of pastels, except this one's bright, that one's bright, that one's bright, and that one's bright. So it's not at all uh, just straight up rainbow. <laughs> it's, it's got a few that are like bang out there. But I suppose that's kind of part of the brand. Now, I got these because they're cotton, 100% cotton, 100 gram each. Uh, pretty colors, pretty colors. So I will probably not be doing granny squares, but I would consider doing um, some dishcloths, some woven dishcloths. So that is lovely. 
And then I got another one of just little bitty cotton ones. And again, this is This one, these are probably, it says 25 gram. I'd have to weigh them and see if they actually are. But these are also supposed to be cotton. You know, I have quite a selection when it comes to wool, but when it comes to cotton, it's um, not very much at all. So, yeah, this is a little 25 gram, 100% cotton. Uh, mini cotton. So, this is a little bit of a gray tone. But I'll play with these a little bit and see how, if between the two, um, I've gotten the colors that I want. So we'll see. And as you can see right here on the wall behind me, I've already got, I've purchased little ones like this. <laughs> I've purchased the palette box set, which are 20 grams, correct? 20 grams. This is it's 25 grams. So the mini cottony, La Mia, and the Knit Picks wool. Apparently cotton is heavier than wool. <laughs> Who knew? So they're about the same size. I mean, the, the wool looks bigger. But um, I use that as a color tool, and I'm sorry, you're probably getting blinded by that light back there. I use that as a color tool because when I'm when I'm um, embarking on a project where I'm matching something. I mean, if I'm just making stuff for the fun of it, that's fine. But if I want to weave something like a shawl that would go with a dress or a combination, like um, later on, I want to have this beautiful cloth I bought. It's a reproduction cloth from Williamsburg. And I went ahead and, and because it's a floral and I don't, I very rarely wear patterns anymore, which is really weird, but whatever. And so I went ahead when I was at the fabric store last time and picked out a couple of things to go with it, just solids, kind of textural solids that will eventually be skirts. And so then I wanted to go to my yarn collection and pick out those tones in yarn so that I could do another, like a, a shawl or a scarf or something woven that would have those colors in it. Well, so I went straight to the wall, picked out the colors, fantastic. The only one I couldn't find was the fuchsia that I wanted. Well, and then I went to the website and without exception, I think there was two out of the eight that uh, were all back ordered. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was supposed to be a color tool that would help me to order the colors that I want, but you know, it's gotta be in stock. That's kind of a basic, basic, basic. So anyway, I think what I will do, I have my cotton yarns up here instead of downstairs in the wall. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put these down here um, somehow. So I found a place to put the cotton yarn. I didn't want to mix it in with the wool downstairs because I don't want to mix those two when I'm weaving. But having the cotton all in one place so that I can gather it up and go weave with it or even bring the loom up here and weave with it and make some dishcloths, that I can handle. So, ta-da! <laughs> I have found a place. And of course, you know, it has to be organized by color. So I'm loving it. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look neat and orderly like some of my other yarn storage does, but it's still beautiful in its own little chaotic way. <laughs> So, what shall I make? I think dishcloths, yeah. What colors, what styles, it's gonna be fun, yay! <laughs> Anything's possible, right? I hope you have a fantastic day. <laughs> Thanks for listening, I really appreciate it.